Hey guys, Ivan here, and here you can see Cody Montgomery and his most recent body transformation in 2019. On the left, he looks like he doesn't even lift, or that he lifts casually sometimes, and on the right, he looks like a good pro. Which he is, which is how he met the Japan pro, where he took a pretty good fourth place. He was pretty big and uh, very well conditioned. He doesn't have the best structure, the best shape, the best genetics, but when it comes to being big and conditioned, Cody can do that. He's a good bodybuilder. And here you can see an amazing, amazing transformation of him. And I congratulate him on this. And I'm amazed. How was he able to do this? It doesn't matter that his body remembers what he was like before. It's still amazing what he did. But uh, that's not worthy of making a video. So I'd rather focus on the negative. And here you can see Cody Montgomery in 2018, which was uh, less, less than a year before that photo where he looks like he doesn't even lift. And uh, can you believe that somebody who stops training for probably less than a year, probably a couple of months to have a surgery, and he probably stopped uh, you know, using the stuff, of course, probably wasn't eating that good and uh, probably wasn't training at all. He looks like he doesn't even lift so easily, so fast. This show right here was 2018, April. And here you can see he looks amazing. He looks so sharp, so big. Really, really good Cody Montgomery. He took second place at this show, nearly won the show. It was the Toronto Pro Show, by the way. So here you can see he looks big, he looks full. The shoulders look round, the chest looks full and thick and his legs and everything is uh, dialed in, conditioned, full, veiny, straight, just amazing, amazing body. But then, less than a year later, and uh, I'm not saying that he stopped training immediately after the show, I'm not sure what kind of surgery he did, but I'm pretty sure that the process doesn't last a year. Let's say half a year max, but probably like a couple of months. I'm sure that many of you watching this are bodybuilders and most likely not natural bodybuilders, and like it or not, this is how things are. Once you stop using, once you stop training for a while and eating a lot, this is what happens to your physique, at least to most people. Cody is very young. He is 25 right now. So all the muscle that he was able to build really didn't take a long time for him. He didn't stay natural for a, for a long time. He started competing when he was like 15 or something. So I'm sure he jumped on, on the gear straight away or at least very early so here you can see look at his chest it's non-existent basically the stomach looks fat uh, the cows surprisingly stayed there and uh, look at the left arm right there it looks so small he doesn't look impressive even for natural standards right here and i'm sure you guys remember those series that he did with jason genoa and right now jason genoa could probably challenge him with this kind of shape and probably beat him who do you guys think looks better, <laughs> Jason Genoa or Cody uh, after his surgery? This kind of shape for a professional bodybuilder, for one of the, well, I wouldn't really say top bodybuilders, but, you know, reaching the top, and for somebody who is so popular for being a professional bodybuilder, it's embarrassing. It's really embarrassing for somebody of his status to look like this. Chest melted, stomach fat, Shoulders and arms pretty much non-existent, no separation, no size, legs look somewhat fine, not totally melted, just not conditioned, but his upper body looks like he is melted. For a 25-year-old who stops training for a while, for a couple of months to look like this, it's sad, it's really sad, but it's true, it's true. I'm sure you know somebody, or maybe you are yourself, a natural bodybuilder and you know that when you stop training for a while or you stop eating regularly or something you don't lose all your gains you stay pretty much the same just a little bit smaller you don't melt down completely like like Cody did again the transformation that he was able to do in 2019 going from this to this in just like seven months it doesn't matter that he was probably off of everything on the left photo and that he jumped on some heavy stuff later and that he was regimented and everything and uh, if you consider the muscle memory and all that, yeah, that, that's, all, that's all good, but it's still impressive what he was able to accomplish. But what impresses me the most is that he was able to look like this in only a couple of months. 25-year-old 
professional bodybuilder. This is the truth of the professional bodybuilding. Once you stop using stuff and you stop training regularly and eating regularly, you melt down. You melt down. It sucks. It sucks. It's horrible. It's sad. I didn't want to know this. Didn't want to see this. But that's just what happens. Anyways, guys, tell me what you think about this whole thing. Like the video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more bodybuilding videos like this. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.